Hello everyone, I'm Andy Lowe from NHL Draft Central and today we'll take a quick look at my notes on 2021 NHL Draft top prospect Peter Reynolds in a 2-1 shootout defeat against Akadzi Batters. The 5'10 centerman finished the game with 1 assist, a plus-minus of minus 1 and 3 shots on net. Early in the first period, Reynolds receives a bit of an inaccurate outlet from his defenseman. He takes time to regroup and after a few crossovers makes the simple pass ahead. Reynolds can't gain control of the puck deep in the offensive zone, but as soon as the puck battle is lost, he turns on the jet to get on the back check. I love that his first reaction after losing the puck is to put the extra effort to get back on defense. Nevertheless, St. John is able to recover the puck without his help and Reynolds flashes his quick feet to get on the forecheck. Coming back into his own zone, Reynolds plays a passive but positionally accurate defense on his man, which allows him to block his shot. On this man advantage, Reynolds gets a few puck touches and shows decent passing to open the play. Very simple actions, and he doesn't overcomplicate things too. Against this transition offense, Reynolds showcases tremendous competitiveness to catch up with the attacker and work with his stick to neutralize the zone entry. Again, love to see him so willing to make the extra effort on the back check. It can really be the difference maker on many plays. After the recovery, he makes a great outlet back to his partner. Reynolds gets the puck near the blue line, and as he enters the offensive zone, he's aware a teammate is open on his left. With pressure closing out on him, he executes quickly his feet. Then, after his partner is met with some good bumps, Reynolds jumps on the loose puck and face with another opponent he completes a quick feed along the boards. After losing the offensive faceoff, Reynolds comes back on the other end to support the breakout. He gets rewarded with a swift pass as he makes his cut through the zone with quick crossovers. With a forechecker approaching rapidly, Reynolds exhibits impressive reaction and agility to dodge the opponent and continue the zone exit. He gets generous and opens the play to his defenseman on the wing. This forces the opposing defenseman to give his attention to the puck carrier while Reynolds can free himself in middle ice. Receiving the puck in a prime goal scoring position, the Canadian center takes a quick restore that hits the goaltender chest. Love his positional instincts on the rush, but I would have liked to see a more threatening shot to finish the play. With the puck on the low right circle, Reynolds looks to make the high danger pass to decrease. To buy a few seconds and potentially throw opponents off, he takes a small look to the point, but swiftly fires the puck to his attacker crashing the net. The pass can connect, but I still like the intention. A few seconds later, Reynolds sees a rebound make his way to his stick. He takes it on reception, but the goaltender makes a calculated slide, denying him. St. Jean gets on the power play early in the second period. As soon as he receives the puck, Reynolds attacks the right circle. He sees his partner open in the slot, but with an opponent blocking the lane with his stick, he gets on his back end to find the perfect angle. The pass gets through, but the swift shot is not enough to fool Akadzi batter's netminder. Same shift on the main advantage. Reynolds loses his handle near the point, but recovers with a nice spin, then goes to show good vision to find the right lanes to open the play. To finish his shift, Reynolds takes a shot from the face of that. It's low and on net to create the rebound, but I don't think this was a threatening scoring chance on his own, as the shot lacked power and accuracy. Reynolds gets on the forecheck here and exhibits a quick stick to steal the disc. He keeps decent control of the puck despite multiple stick chops from the opponents. Heads up, he catches his partner striking to the corner and throws in the puck. Reynolds takes the lead in transition. Once arrived in the offensive zone, he gets a glance of his trailing teammate, which leads him to drop him the puck. He follows by trying to get himself open, which he partially does, but also gets a bit lucky the pass gets through. He takes control and throws the puck across the crease in a dangerous manner. Unfortunately, the puck deviates on the defender's skates. Twice. Reynolds gets in charge of the zone exit once again. St. John's attacker displays decent agility to get around his opponent, and in what seems to be one motion, he passes ahead to his winger and crushes the middle ice with speed. His sound and smart positioning allows him to free himself on the 2v1, and he perfectly puts his blade on the ice as the passing target. 
This should have been an easy put-in, but the pass never comes. Here, as soon as the puck gets loose, Reynolds explodes off the block and hunts down the forward. He meets him in neutral zone, but the pass is already off. If his effort didn't really impact the play, I absolutely love to see that kind of animosity on the back check. St. John breaks off the action to get on the counter attack, and so does Reynolds, who trails a few feet behind. He's open on the zone entry, but can't gain control of the pass intended for him. Reynolds immediately thinks of getting back on defense. His quick backpedaling crossovers allow him to deviate a bit the zone exit pass, but that isn't enough. He speeds across the ice and gets there to disturb the shot on the 2v1. Tremendous effort to backcheck, get on the rush offense, and backcheck again to save a potential goal. This is the kind of drive you want to see. Taking a closer look at his stride is showcased here. We can notice Reynolds' explosive first few steps, which enable him to get to high speed very quickly. He passes from his outside to inside edge almost instantly, allowing him to push off each stride briskly. It's also what makes him look so speedy and volatile. Reynolds has an excellent stance, perfectly leaned over and low to the eyes for power generation. Impressive quickness, acceleration and top speed. Here, Akadi Batter's attacker gets around the defense and storms out on the breakaway. But Reynolds showcases an incredible drive, competitive spirit and top speed to overtake the forward and recover possession of the puck. After this outstanding effort, Reynolds leads the breakout and skates all the way to the offensive zone, where he drops the puck to his winger. With the disc coming back to him, he lifts the stick of his defender and gains position behind the net. St. John Sandman flashes his nifty creativity and anticipation with a nice behind the back assist to his partner. On this cycle action, Reynolds shows great positioning to get in front of the crease as a dangerous passing option, but the feed can't connect with him would have been a great scoring chance. Later on the same shift, Reynolds gains possession on the right corner and quickly finds his teammate on the other side. He completes an excellent feed on the tape, but his winger isn't quick enough to surprise the goaltender. Once again, Reynolds leads the breakout here, and faced with an aggressive forechecker, he gives the outlet to his wing and jumps into the open space. His partner shares the disc, but Reynolds immediately sends it back, shaking the defenseman. His winger is somehow able to push the puck to the middle ice and the Canadian prospect controls the disc with his back shielding it from the defender. He catches his teammate in a scoring position and feeds in the puck, a dangerous scoring chance that was the result of beautiful passing plays across three zones. On this shift, Reynolds sends a swift pass to the crease which almost connects. With his teammate giving away the puck, the 5'10 centerman gets back rapidly to help his defenseman in neutral zone. This is a great habit Reynolds has taken to always get on the back check. He knows he won't almost hold anyone, so he outsmarts and outcompetes everyone with sounded positioning and great intensity. Here, Reynolds uses his quick feet to close out on the attacker with good stick work. Nevertheless, his opponent is able to dump the puck. Reynolds patiently waits for the breakout to start and then activate his quick crossovers to get on the outlet. On the 1v1 situation, he tries a dig that gets quickly poked away, but as he gets to the corner, he throws a solid hit on the defenseman, which allows his team to retrieve the puck. On the power play now, Reynolds shows quick distribution of the puck for swift movement on the cycle, and he's then able to complete his pass despite being pinned along the boards. In his own zone, Reynolds is there to jump on the loose puck to claim it back. He leaves it to his rear guard and fires through the middle ice as an outlet option. Late in the third, Reynolds tries to clear his zone, but gets shaken along the boards and thrown to his bench. In overtime, Reynolds once more gets on the back check, which allows him to deviate and disturb a bit the rebound to potentially save the game-winning goal. He then gets on the counter-attack as usual. Here, he flashes his decent edge work before opening the play. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.